Gangrene is a serious medical condition that occurs when body tissue dies due to lack of blood flow or bacterial infection. Today, we're going to explore what gangrene is, the types it includes, symptoms to look out for, causes, risk factors, and treatment options available. Understanding this condition is essential for both prevention and timely intervention. Gangrene can be classified into several types, dry, wet, gas, and internal. Dry gangrene typically develops slowly and is often linked to conditions that affect blood circulation, such as diabetes or atherosclerosis. The skin becomes dry, shrinks, and changes color to a dark brown or black, resulting in a necrotic or dead appearance. This type of gangrene tends to maintain a clear boundary between healthy and diseased tissue. Wet gangrene, on the other hand, progresses more rapidly and involves an infection that leads to swelling and a foul odor. This type can occur after a burn, frostbite, or severe injury, where bacteria thrive in the damaged tissue. Gas gangrene is a rare but life-threatening form caused by bacteria, often related to trauma or surgical wounds. The bacteria produce gas bubbles within the tissues, causing severe pain and swelling. Internal gangrene affects organs and can arise as a result of blood clots or infections. The symptoms of gangrene can vary depending on the type but generally include pain, swelling, and discoloration of the affected area. In dry gangrene, the skin may appear brown, black, or gray, while wet gangrene presents with blisters and drainage of foul-smelling fluid. In severe cases, systemic symptoms such as fever, rapid heart rate, and shock can occur, especially with gas gangrene. Several causes can lead to gangrene. The most common cause is a lack of blood flow to the tissues. This may happen due to conditions like peripheral artery disease, where arteries narrow and limit blood flow. Infections from bacteria can also directly cause tissue death. Other contributing factors include significant injuries, burns, frostbite, or complications from diabetes. Certain lifestyle choices and pre-existing health conditions can increase the risk of gangrene. Risk factors for developing gangrene include smoking, which damages blood vessels and reduces blood flow, diabetes, which can lead to neuropathy and poor circulation, a compromised immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections, and previous surgeries or trauma. Older adults and those with chronic conditions are also at a higher risk. If gangrene is suspected, immediate medical attention is crucial. A healthcare provider will perform a physical examination and may utilize imaging tests like X-rays or CT scans to assess the extent of tissue damage. Blood tests can help identify infection and assess organ function. Treatment for gangrene often requires a multifaceted approach. In mild cases, antibiotics may be prescribed to fight infection. However, if the tissue damage is extensive, surgical intervention may be necessary to remove necrotic tissue, a procedure known as debridement. In cases of gas gangrene, emergency surgery is often required to save the patient's life. Severe cases may necessitate amputation of the affected limb or organ. Among preventive measures, maintaining good circulation is key. This involves managing chronic conditions, practicing good hygiene, and protecting the skin from injuries. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider are crucial for individuals with risk factors. Suturing wounds without allowing proper healing can also contribute to the risk, so it's essential to follow medical advice closely after injuries. In conclusion, gangrene is a life-threatening condition marked by the death of body tissue due to infections or reduced blood flow. Understanding its types, symptoms, causes, and preventative measures can help in identifying risks early and seeking prompt treatment. If you ever notice signs of gangrene in yourself or someone else, do not hesitate to seek immediate medical attention. Taking proactive steps towards managing your health may prevent the occurrence of this serious condition. Remember, your awareness could make all the difference. Thank you for watching, and stay informed about your health.